Four times a week, United Airlines flies an incredibly interesting service in the Central Pacific which connects Honolulu, Hawaii with the U.S. island territory of Guam, a hub for the carrier's Pacific operations. The flight also makes stops at five small islands in the Marshall Islands and the Federated States of Micronesia, providing the only air service at many of these destinations. Let's examine United's island hopper service in more detail for today's video. Taking a trip on board United's Island Hopper is among the most unique itineraries in the sky and a must-do for aviation enthusiasts during their lifetime. The service operates on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays, flying from Honolulu to Guam as United Airlines Flight 154. It's Flight 155 when traveling in the opposite direction. After departing at 7.10, the flight crosses the international dateline and arrives at Marshall Islands International Airport in Marjoro at 10.15. An hour later, the flight takes off bound for Buchholz Army Airfield on Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands, arriving at 12.05. The next stop on the island hopper's journey is the remote island of Cosray in the Federated States of Micronesia at Cosray International Airport at 12.55. At 14.40, the flight makes its next stop at Pompeii International Airport, the airport serving Palakir, the capital of the Federated States of Micronesia. The flight then touches down at Chuuk International Airport in the same island nation at 15.45 before making its final arrival in Guam at 18.15. In the reverse direction towards Hawaii, flights leave Guam at 7.55, stopping in TKK at 9.40, PNI at 12.45, KSA at 14.45, KWA at 17.40, MAJ at 19.20, and finally HNL at 2.55 after crossing the international date line. Specially configured Boeing 737-800 aircraft are used to fly this route, with various unique adjustments made for the remoteness of the journey. A mechanic and extra parts are carried on board due to the lack of maintenance facilities at many of the island destinations. Additionally, four pilots are staffed instead of two, given the long nature of the route. Cabin crew are also given unique overtime pay. Upon landing, the aircraft is often greeted by fire trucks prepared to water down the jet's brakes if they overheat on account of short island runways. In economy class, there are multiple rows that are fully collapsible, able to accommodate individuals in need of medical evacuation. This route was first flown by Air Micronesia upon the guidance of Continental Airlines' then-CEO, Robert Six. Have you ever been on part or all of United's Island Hopper service? Share your experience by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.